we got a lot of news to talk about today, so let's try and see if we can uh, keep it within two videos and not have to stretch it to three. But either way, we got an update on John Cena's WrestleMania plans and so much more. And I can't just tease that and then not go to it. So let's start with the big news, or one of, some of the big news, and that is John Cena will be on SmackDown next week. John Cena will be on SmackDown next week, and teaming up with uh, Kevin Owens against Roman Reigns and Sami Zayn. And it has been said that John Cena is expected to work WrestleMania, which to me sounds like if Cena's schedule permits it, then Cena will be at WrestleMania. But if Cena's schedule does not permit it, then Cena cannot be at WrestleMania. But at the time, Cena will be filming Ricky Stenicki in Australia in February and March. So it is a question of if Cena will be around to be able to do some appearances and also if Cena will be around to be there for WrestleMania at the beginning of April. It's just a question of how free Cena is and the same could be said with The Rock, but I'm sure early 2023 we will find out what's going to happen. In my opinion, I think the stemming of Cena's feud this year at WrestleMania or match this year at WrestleMania could have something to do with Cena saying that he will never leave the WWE to now be a Hollywood superstar gone from the WWE only participating in one match in WWE in 2022 that being the match on uh, December 30th on SmackDown and not and going back on his word of leaving the WWE universe. I don't know offhand who Cena could be versing. I think Austin Theory and Logan Paul are both viable challengers for the leader of the C Nation. But we will have to find out as time goes on what's gonna happen because it is in my opinion, more likely that we would see Austin Theory on the December 30th edition of SmackDown as opposed to Logan Paul, because I don't think Logan Paul is ready to return yet, even in a non-active competition role and just doing an appearance. I don't think he's ready. I could be wrong, but I don't think Logan Paul is in the position where he's ready to return yet after such a devastating injury back at Crown Jewel, that being a torn MCL. So I don't see him returning even for an appearance, but I do think that whatever happens, we will see Cena's, uh, Cena's challenger be somewhat revealed at the December 30th edition of SmackDown or on the December 30th edition of SmackDown. Either way, that's something we will have to wait to find out. But where I was going to start, where I was going to start before I went with the juicy news first, was that Dax Harwood is apparently going to Dax Harwood is apparently going to be taking over the William Regal Gentleman Villain podcast, and and that will start because. Regal is leaving. Regal is leaving the independence, I guess you could say, and maybe WWE doesn't want somebody on their main roster or specifically a top ranking executive on their main roster to be doing a film on the podcast, or maybe Regal just won't have the time to do the podcast. You know, it's it's a ton of options you know there's a ton of possibilities but the fact of the matter is Dax Harwood is going to be the one that replaces William Regal as the gentleman 
Gentleman Villain Podcast. I believe the name of the podcast will be something relating to FTR. And I, for one, have heard nothing but good things about the Gentleman Villain Podcast and Regal's Podcast. But I am excited to hear from Dax Harwood and his take on wrestling because Dax Harwood has a lot more experience than people know, as does Cash Wheeler, but also the interesting note is the fact that FTR is still projected to take a gap year from the national companies when their contracts expire in the spring of next year from AEW, so they may be departing AEW sooner than we think, but not to go back to WWE, but to run the indies and do what they want to do in 2023 so we could see them maybe even return to ROH separate from the AEW deal and run it back with the Briscoes or run it back with somebody else. But that is something that we will have to see next year as FTR is still committed to taking a gap year away from the major companies in 2023. But I'm sure we'll hear more about it in Dax Harwood's podcast when he takes over the Gentleman Villain, which this week was his first episode as the host of the FTR podcast. But these have been my thoughts on wrestling. We got a lot more to get to in our last news episodes before the Christmas holiday. So join me again later today for more news for your faces. Till next time.